actually designed for the new one, specifically for the new one. Bishop Van Dudu two years ago came to me when I was in the new book. It said, basically said, we need light. We can't do anything. When the, when the sun sets, life stops in the new book until it rises again. I've been going to the Nuba since 04, since the, the ceasefire. And the very first interaction I had with Bishop Van Dudu back in 04, we were sitting about this distance apart. And as the sun was setting, my eyes were getting less and less. I could see him less and less. To the point when the sun was gone, I couldn't see him except when he smiled. <laughs> but that brought really clear that they need light in the new book. And as a Christian, we're called to bring the light of Christ. So when I was there two years ago, he brought it to me that we need the solar system. And so I called a friend, actually I, I texted him on uh, the internet while I was still in Kadoogly, and said, is there a system out there that we can bring here that's cost effective? And he searched, and he searched, and he searched. He, he owns a solar company in California. So if, if it's in California, if it's anywhere, it's going to be in California. The reality is. They're usually 10 to 15 years ahead of everybody else. But there was no system. Not for one panel, not for two panels. You could put a system together for an entire mansion, but for a hut? No. They don't exist. So I asked him, can you make me one? And so after the last year, he made one. And we brought it up to the Nuba Mountains a year ago, actually in November, um, to see, to make sure it works. What is different for this system is that in the Nuba, you cannot have a fan running. Anybody ever have a computer in the Nuba knows that the fan that cools the computer sucks dust in, and your computer doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so you couldn't put a fan on this to cool it. So we had to design it that it'd cool itself. It, most is, if you're dealing with electronics, it has to have a fuse. Because if you power it up too much, it's gonna blow instead of blowing the equipment. But there's not, you're not gonna find a fuse in the new one. There's, you can't go around to the hardware store and pick up a fuse. So it couldn't have a fuse. So we had to put a circuit breaker in. We had to keep it completely enclosed without it overheating. We had to design it so that it couldn't explode. And we took it a third part that anybody, any of these kids could put that system together and not get it wrong. It can only go together one way. So anybody can do it. Then the key was the cost. This system in the United States today, you can go find it, a similar system like this, they're now producing since last year for emergencies. If a hurricane comes in and wipes out your electricity, you can put, throw this panel outside and now you can charge your um, cell phones. You can charge different things. That system in the United States costs 2,000 Americans. There's no way that the Sudanese can afford 2,000 America. There's no way. They only make $150 a month. So I go, this ain't working. So I told Delta Energy, we had to do it. And we had to do it reasonably. And half price was not enough. I needed it less than half price. Then we just basically set it up that 750 American would give you a panel, a battery, and a, and a converter. Everything you needed. And Delta goes, no, you need the light. Without the light, nobody sees. Then I got told a month ago, the noob is going back to war. This is a waste of time. It's just going to go back to war. What are they going to do? I said, 
even in time of war, you still have to read, teach, and live. I've been to the caves in the New Mountains. I'm probably one of the few white people that have ever been seen the caves. Something tells me. <laughs> Somebody told me that once. I don't know if it's true or not. But I know that you need a light to be able to read and to be able to teach your children that are hiding in those caves. And if they stay at war for any length of time, they're going to need this. And if they don't stay at war, they're going to need this to teach in the, ch in the churches. Because life stops at sunset. It doesn't have to. The Nupa people are so powerful. They're so efficient. They work all day and make something out of it. During the war, you, nobody gave you any food. You had to grow your own during the war. And you had to fight. You're efficient. Give the new one two more hours of daylight, and I'll guarantee you they'll, they'll teach everybody how to read. They'll teach everybody how to, to do things much more efficiently. Education is key to the new one, especially if you take your own control of your own country. You have to know. So that's why we put this system together. Literally, is to give you a fighting chance. Because without it, you're just going to stay in the dark. Thank you. I see my husband, you know, how you look ways, but the reside not to give up. You need to stay in the dark. You need to watch it. بسبب <تصفيق> يقعد يشوف في المدرسة أو يتحل هذا اللي يشتغل لهم الحياة. فمهم جدا إنه نحن نساعد في حاجة بيساعد الكنيسة بيساعد المعلم. يعني في الكنيسة لازم ممكن نعمل فرانين، لازم يعمل اجتماعات، لازم يعمل دراسة الكتاب. في المدارس ممكن العيال يدرس صباح، الناس الكبار ما عندهم زمن يقرأوا في الكنيسة. هنا ممكن في أهلك يقدر يعمل لهم ال ممكن تعمل تعمل تليفون لي هنا عن كهرباء في هذا واحد من المشاكل نحن شفنا واحد في الجبال اشتغلنا وهو شغال كويس جربناه في الجبال فنحن بنشيل نشيل الحاجات دي انتوا تفكروا بعدك عايزين تعملوا ايه فانا باش نجيب هنا ونخلي لكم البروشور والبروشور اللي بيجي بيودونا له البروشور بيمشي للشركه في بزنس كارد هنا بعطيه البروش بروش في الشركة الشركة بيرسل الحاجات ده يقول لنا في السودان بعطيه من المحتاجين الناس حتى لو في زمن كده الحرب ده كنتوا نحن محتاجين لحاجات لأنه حاسس إن إحنا عارفين تليفونات صعب جدا حاسس تتصل بالكاتب لأنه كهرباء جاية فممكن الناس يشيلوها في الدنيا في كده فأنا ماشي في الجيب هنا وندي بس نفرين لو عندهم سؤال ولا حاجة من الحاجات الكبيرة اللي قلت لكم كلها عشان احنا نقدر نمشي بهذا الزمن